Welcome back, everyone. On this date in history, the telegraphs deep in the engine rooms of a fleet of aircraft carriers signaled full speed ahead. Those ships were headed into history and a date with destiny. Here's NTV's Jim Furlong. On this date in history, the year 1951, two years and a bit after Confederation, the Liberal government of Joseph Smallwood went to the polls. They won 21 seats and retained power. It was no surprise the baby bonus and the pensions that were part of Confederation were pouring in. The Conservatives in the party, which was largely the St. John's anti-Confederate vote, were having trouble getting any real traction against Smallwood. Also 1953, Bow Waters passed over deed and title to six square miles of land at Big Falls on the upper Humber River to Newfoundland. It was land that was to be a national park. And in 1941, they weighed anchor and headed west. Admiral Chuichi Nagoma led the Japanese first air fleet towards Pearl Harbor in the United States. His orders were that should negotiations with the U.S. be unsuccessful, the task force should be prepared, etc., etc. The rest is history. All of these things.